When they came in we tried to make the shopping for them as easy as possible, we tried to make it the same as it was before, while still fitting the guidelines of the government by keeping two metres apart if possible. And we also use sort of paper tapes for measuring their necks and we have try-on socks, we have various other things as well which can make the shopping experience a bit better and safer for them. Seven years I live in UK and I work as a personal trainer. The first thing that I said to my mom ever when they asked me what I want to be, it was a, a coach. I'm not just going for specific because that makes me get better all the time. Without you, there would be no content to share. So throughout this series on small... Thousand subscribers. Your chance to help us. Make sure you subscribe for more. We are making progress now. My name is Paulo, everybody calls me Paul. And uh, I'm originally from Spain, as you might have noticed by the accent. And I've been in the UK for 12 years. I have passion for my job. I mean, this was a real calling. Nos encontramos en la capilla del Palacio del Obispo, un edificio de unas características arquitectónicas muy eh, prestas para esta cuestión que se recoge en ella. Aquí se recogen las grandes piezas del bordado del siglo XX, del siglo XXI, de la Semana Santa de Málaga. Malagueños hold a special place in their hearts for Mary. Floats with the great Virgin Mary evoke great emotions and remind them of the grieving mother who has now lost her only son. Every neighborhood church has its own unique Mary, all of them grieving mothers of the crucified Christ, but each one representing a different aspect of her sorrow. The caped hooded figures of devoted penitents surround the floats also. These are the icons of Semana Santa celebrations. Unfortunately, for many American onlookers, these masked figures evoke the Ku Klux Klan. Un gran tesoro patrimonial que se ha ido desarrollando e incrementando a lo largo del tiempo. Indiscutiblemente, la parte más importante de este conjunto patrimonial es la iglesia. La iglesia, empezando por su bellísima portada de 1504, en la que aúna lo que se compone el estilo que hemos venido a denominar Reyes Católicos. Está el ladrillo moldurado, en una puerta gótica, abocinada, como es lo normal en esta época, y tiene la introducción del azulejo plano. El azulejo plano, que es una técnica que importó desde Italia Niculoso Pisano. <risa> 